It's the mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Hey, not everything that glitter is gold. Not everything that's white is snow. On the mindset, I just start. Let them know. Let them know. Let them know. Oh, words from the wise. I just star, we will never lie. Stand tall, we will never die. We'll forever shine. I just star, shine like the star in the sky. Some hate, some love. Rastafari, blessed love, pleasant good day. Warm welcome, um, warm for greeting and the divine name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor A. Celestia I. Father and Mother of Creation, King Alpha and Queen Omega, beginning without end, first without last. Give thanks, one more day above ground, and um, yeah, great to be here. See? Yeah, man, great to be here. All viewers and subscribers, manners and respect. Yeah, man. Um, today we want to look upon um, the influence that the music has, you know, because people have a tendency to say that music doesn't influence people to do things. And I don't believe that is that is so. You know, people people are influenced by word sound and power. And the music is words, powerful words more more time. See? Yeah, that put people into moods. See? Change people's life. Yeah. One word can do that. One word can change an individual life. See? And in our songs, you have more than one word. In our music, you have more than one word. See? So music influence and ones love to say that it doesn't. So, we are going to look upon two um, genre of music. We are going to look upon reggae music. And we are going to look on hip-hop music also. Then two music that has a huge influence on African people, you know what I mean, in the diaspora and outside of the diaspora. You understand? Because you you have hip hop, you have reggae as we talk about, and you also have um Afrobeats today. Today we have Afrobeats which is um another genre of music that also um, ones would say bird out of reggae and dance hall. And I would say hip hop also. Zin. But then again, Afrobeat is from the continent and is just one thing because the reggae and the hip hop is seen are done by African people, said we. You understand? Even though some other ones copy it and perfect it on a level, you know, it is an African expression. All right? They are all African expression. So now we have Afrobeats in the mix. See? But we are look upon reggae and we are look upon um, hip hop. Right? So. Reggae is what? Bird. Reggae is what? Bird hip hop. Reggae then bird dance hall. In return, hip hop bird rap and gangster rap. No reggae meant to be a music with a spiritual nucleus expressing. The teachings of Rastafari, the upliftment of African people in the diaspora and on the continent. 
That is what reggae music was designed to do. Zin, a spiritual nucleus about Rastafari, teachings of His Majesty. Zin and the struggle of the people, you know, what the people them are fierce, what the people them are go through. That is what reggae music is, 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 is all about. And Rasta people was an oppressed people. And not just Rasta people still, but the whole people them in Jamaica at the time was, you know, most of the people them was downpressed and oppressed. All type of press. Zin. So, it's the same thing with with hip hop music, as as me say, reggae, bird, hip hop. Ah, uh, yeah. And in return, it bird, rap, gangster rap, hip hop. Just like oh reggae, bird, dancehall. Zin, reggae, bird, dancehall. Reggae also bird hip hop. Hip hop, you have gangster rap. And the gangster rap is the equivalent to the dance hall that we have today. And the rap is the equivalent to the reggae. That is the reality, you know. See? That is the reality. Now, all right. Let me just play something for sure and say, you know, that is the reality. Something from someone who is a helder in this music thing. Zin, who now meet up on one of the virgins also who are, you know, who is the founder, are the originator of, of, of hip-hop, meeting up with one of the founders of, of reggae. Zin, Uri, and Cool Irk. Uri, and Cool Irk. This man standing right beside me here, when I left Jamaica, this is the music I would listen to back in the days. Scare music before reggae coming to his own. This is you right. <laughs> My king. Nice. <laughs> Lovely. Just like Dan Rocha. You know what I mean? Prince Bosta, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you heard know that? No, no you still see the whole full. Huh? 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 Look at that. This, this is, is the original of the original way the whole thing is set and started. King, it is honored. It is blessed. 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 Still, I want to understand that. Reggae and hip hop is a big time family. You know that? Yeah, 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 yeah man. Definitely. So, you know. I go, but it's a come from the same. Can you see? Just like when we DJ. And, and we, we have, have the singer, singer coming in and sing and, and come out. See, see when the rappers are not doing now. This man standing right, right a go for it. It'll come from the same. Can you see? Just like when we DJ and we have the singer coming in. go for it. It'll come from the same. Can you see? Just like when we DJ and it's big time family. You know that? Yeah. You understand yeah. that? Reggae yeah. yeah. and hip hop. Yeah. Is his big time family. Understand that, that. Reggae and hip hop is big time family. You know that? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Understand that, that. Reggae and hip hop is big time family. You know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. So, you know, rest in power to the late great Uri Dessa. Um, a reason with cool irk, as me say, one of the virgin them who um, create 
hip hop and him is a Jamaican, him, him, him left from Jamaica and he might tell us he had a, a, a dead man that him grew up and listened to. See? Which is you Rai. And you don't know, see, are you Rai responsible for the man that are to a certain way up on a certain level? Because him take the thing, cool work, and bring go America. See? Yeah, man. So, the same thing with hip hop. It was designed to send a positive message. Positive message that would elevate the African people out of our struggle. Zane, that the music, the music was. Was that journey that 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 influenced the people? You see me, I say it was no different from what the reggae music was doing. The same influence, the same message, the same message that the reggae music had is the same message that the hip hop had. At them time there. A positive message. Trying to elevate the minds of the people them to get out of this degradation and this struggle. That is what the hip hop was doing. Zin until till a turn. Till a turn, a turn coming at the thing. See? Babylon, they would say, invade or infiltrate. That they would normally say. You understand? That they would normally say that Babylon infiltrate the thing and thing and thing and all sort of something. See? All sort of something them we say. That Babylon infiltrate the thing and you know what I mean? Yeah. So them so them look on it. So them look on it. So I could look on this thing. I could look on this thing and you know what I mean, pan a, another 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 level. You understand? Because as I say, we are going to look how the dance hall have an impact and why the dance hall has such an impact and why um, gangster, ras- gangster rap has such an impact and um, the youth, them and you know, our community. And don't forget the music influence. You understand? The music influence. We can't, we can't, we can't go around that. Yeah, no matter what I want. The music, the music influence my people. So, um, I could just bring up something here, so. Zane, um, some food for tarts. Yeah, man, some food for tarts. Hip-hop changing from positive to negative was not a consequence of history. It was not a circumstance of history. It was nothing that just happened on its own. It had nothing to do with the changing of the times. It had nothing to do with that. It had everything to do with the fact that there are people right. in this particular society who wants to see us exactly where we are. And we have to, we cannot elude, elude that, let that point elude us. These are the facts. How do we know? 1967, Kerner Commission report on urban disorder when black people said, yo, we're tired of this system. You know what I mean? This system is oppressing us. So we rebelled against the system. We burned things. We said, yo, we, we had enough. He did his little report on what caused these riots. He said, what caused these riots? He said it was young children 
who started these riots, and what was motivated, what motivating them was a high self-esteem and an enhanced racial pride. He said the majority of the rioters were high school dropouts, but they had a higher political orientation than their peers who did not drop out. And they saw the system as their enemy, so they attacked it in the right circumstance. So, fast forward to uh, 1992. Same thing. Number one record on the radio, we had Fight the Power. Fight the Power is on the radio. Rodney King gets beaten before the world. The black youth rebelled against the system. Again, they did it again. And why, what primed them? Positive hip hop. Primed them. Fight the Power, X-Clan, Brand Nubian. You had these groups out here who were pushing, who were politically orienting black kids in the, in the right direction, giving them the proper prompters that they needed so that they can respond properly to oppression. All right? In 1967, when the riots happened, he saw that the self-esteem and the racial pride was fueling this. So he said, how do I bring that down so that they will not riot? And what he did, he flooded the airways with ex black exploitation movies. Right. Nigga Charlie and the return of Nigga Charlie. These right. were movies. Hip-hop didn't start calling people niggas. Right. We had Shaft. We had Coffee. Black girl turned prostitute to do whatever, you know what I mean? But these black exploitation movies brought down the self-esteem and the, and, and the racial pride so that the kids will not rebel against the system of oppression. 92, the, the racial pride was back in effect. We had black kids going to Dr. Ben yucking in lectures. We were spending our money to go see Farrakhan speak as opposed to going to a strip club. This is where we were. The most coveted article of clothing was a historically black college or university sweater. We were motivating children towards positive attitudes and lifestyles. And when Rodney King got the beaten, heads responded properly. Fast forward to our day. Sean Bell is shot 50 times in the street in New York by police officers. Number one song on the radio, Like a Lollipop. Nobody do nothing. Nobody respond to nothing. Trust me. Trust me. Just like the brother, I believe it was JT, the bigger figure, who said that the, the, the label executives came to him and said, yo, brother, we need you talking about guns and whores. Right. Mm. You know what I mean? That's right. That happens. I've been in those meetings right. with management and had to ask me, is what you're saying really what you believe so that we'll know how to market you properly? Right. You know what I mean? This happens. Young Buck. On his album, he puts out a, he has a song on his album that talks about police terrorism. The label said, absolutely not. Jimmy Iovine said, absolutely not. You cannot put that record on the, on the uh, album because it might create an atmosphere right. that might put police officers' lives in danger. Right. So they took the record off, but they let him keep the other 14 songs on the album that talked about killing black youth. Yeah. So this is what we're dealing with. We're not dealing with a circumstance or consequence of history. You know what I mean? The environment that we're embedded in puts us in a situation where we feel we have to maneuver and play the game and, and water our message down. You know what I mean? But no, what happened was they intentionally shifted the paradigm to get us exactly where we are right now. Right now, we're feeding the prison industrial complex right now. Our kids are going to prison because they're promoting these records. They're promoting these records daily that sent us to jail. You know what I mean? It's cool to go to jail. You know what I mean? They glorify these things. and It's not the black youth. We're in a position where it's, we get, like the brother said, the choice. You know, he said, yo, I, I, chose, I chose the positive. So I didn't do it. But every youth is not going to take that route. I know I come from the projects. Grew up in the projects all my life. You know what I mean? And we're not turning down $500,000 to say nigga. We're not going to do it because we won't turn down 200 to take a package of crack from one corner to the next. You know what I mean? We live in a state of poverty and one of all things. So it's hard for us to make that. Our judgment is clouded. And, and they knew that the judgment would be even more clouded if they took groups like X-Clan off the radio. This is just what it is. And until we start to deal with the environment that's shaping the behavior, We'll never get to the next level. Uh, tell her. That's it. So, is 
is a design thing when um when 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 you have the gangster rap zine and is is a design thing when you have the dancer you know it's like they are designed now to like not complement the reggae then you know it's more like something where I got do the opposite of, of, of the reggae and where the reggae I, I say and where the reggae supposed to stand for same thing with the hip hop when you have the gangster rap different thing as you hear the virgin I say where them use them use certain visual pump that in the community certain sounds pump that in the community certain sounds we are send youths to prison that that was the virgin say a while ago see now when we have as me say them 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 two thing there coming like two opposite are uh, 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 what the thing them are deal with. The people them say the music doesn't influence, but it does. And 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 the visual also. See? Some people who who control the medium, the radio, the TV, see? Them did already know, say, audio and video combined together have a greater influence upon the people. Audio and the video, the visual combined together. Because you hear the audio, you know, and yeah, you get a vibe. But when you see the video, you get even a, a different vibe. A greater vibe because you see some things now where I go with, with exactly what is being narrated or, or, or over the rhythm. See? So the people um, who control these things did know so you combine them two things, they are gonna have a greater impact on the people their mindset. Them did know these things. Just like all them say movie, movie also influence certain um, behavior in people. See, which may agree to an extent. Zin, because you hear and see certain things that that they out there today. Zin, you hear and see these things. So we know if you fool yourself and talk about the boy. Um, you know, the music, the music doesn't influence because when. When you do a video, when you do a video, you only illustrate and highlight the narrative of the song. Zin, by creating a visual, you're giving a clear picture of what the song I deal with. You know, when you do a visual to complement the audio. As me I said, the video and the audio combined together, it is a greater influence. It's a greater influence. Other than you just hearing the song. You see me I say? But when you start to sit some things now, it's a different thing. Different thing. Zin, me say, 
I see video in a in a the in a the dance hall scene where big long big long gun I compliment the the, the 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 lyrics that I push out there. Lick out head and all these type of things. All people, all people, you know what I mean? They are them know. Me not have to go in a in a in a in a too much details of some of the lyrics them. They are them hear the lyrics them or graphics they graphic they are. Zin. And not just murder and all of them things because that is one thing, but degrading ourselves, degrading our sisters, degrading, you know what I mean? Degrading ourselves with certain lyrics. What we tell the people them to do. We see one virgin tell the people them say, to bleach themselves and them and, and when they look. The whole place a bleach, aya. Everybody bleach. You see me, I say? As an artist, sing song and tell the people them to do that and them do that. <laughs> and them do that clearly in a Jamaica. Zane, so the direction the music I go. It is getting more graphic and graphic. Zin, and the reality, it, 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 it shouldn't be like that. That are the reality, you know? it shouldn't be like that. But it will get more graphic and graphic every day. Every day. Zin, every day, graphic and graphic every day. But them say the music doesn't influence crime and violence and all these type of things. But it does. So here goes. And you have a lot of opportunity. When I'm going to go there, 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 I'm going to go and then it's in the home, 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 and I'm not saying that I'm qualified. And I'm only looking for my address and say, well, I see you come from. And you know, I'm not going to talk to one of the calls. I'm not going to talk to one of the calls. And that's what's been going on for years. For one year, for one year, for one year, for one year. So when these guys, no matter how much, how much school they might go out, or where they might be, they still don't get those opportunities. As the privilege, as some of the privilege they get. I mean, there's a lot of opportunities. I mean, she starts at the city, and she doesn't want to try to blame parties and blame lyrics and gun and uh, gun lyrics. Well, lyrics are entertainment. See? Why are you killing, killing lyrics and why are you? Why are you? For the cultural thing. So why are you sitting down here really going to react in on it? Come on. So, so no one is... And then he's adding his lock up. So, um, that, 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 that is Shaggy. And that is what Shaggy said. But, um, if if even if when you listen to what the the the, the earlier Virgin is saying comparing to what Shaggy is saying in terms of the schooling, um, that no few to drop out and a school and because them can't get no job because them overqualify, them end up doing crime. That is what it appears, um, or it sound like him, he, he's saying. You know what I mean? But the other virgin was saying that these youths that drop out from school, they were drop out. Zane, they were more politically aligned with that they, they, they wanted to see certain things. 
And these were youths who they were listening conscious hip hop, not the gangster rap or what you call it, the, the trap and, and all of these things. No. Them did they listen different type of music, different type of um, positive hip hop. That is what they were listening. They were listening not just any songs or any 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 music. You know what I mean? No, them never did I do that. But what Shaggy is saying, the, 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 the music doesn't have any influence. That is that is what he's saying. You know, it's 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 um entertainment. You know, it's just entertainment. And and I don't think people really understand this whole hip hop shit was birthed from Jamaica. Like Kool Herc is a Jamaican nigga. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The whole concept of having big ass speakers stockpiled on top of each other and playing loud ass music outside, that come from Jamaica. That's dance hall culture. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So Kool Herc brought dance hall culture to the US and gave birth to hip hop culture. The only thing that changed was the type of music that was played mm -hmm. and how it was played. <clears throat> but the concept is the same. Right. So the the thing about dance hall So here what well, well, I right, show you said why the thing, you know I, are from Jamaica, the thing I come from. That's a, that's a, the, the music, reggae music has influenced other people outside of Jamaica. See, reggae music has boss other musicians within Jamaica and outside of Jamaica. The rest of them who take up this thing. They make reggae boss use a prayer day, pardon. They make reggae boss use worldwide. Worldwide. Reggae. Boss youths. Boss dancer. Yeah, reggae do that. See? It? Reggae do that. So, reggae has been playing its 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 role, even though a lot of ones say born reggae. You understand? Yeah, man, a lot of ones say born reggae. For obvious reasons. You see it, but we can we can hear that, you know, reggae do a lot of good for for some people or a lot of or a lot of ones. You understand? And can't play a blind eye to that still. That, you know, it help out a lot of situations. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shit, I can't do it. Well, to be honest with you, going back to the dance hall culture, like I was telling you, there's a two artists that I first ever seen do the million words in one sentence in like two seconds. Right. This one artist named Papa San and this other artist named Lieutenant Stitchy. And <laughs> So that I will Papa San and um, Lieutenant Stitchy back in the days. Yeah, man, back in the days. 
Yeah, it got, so you see, you know, the music has come a long way. And as I say, the music have a strong influence on, 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 on people. And it influences, you know, some weak-minded people to do things. That is that is just the reality of the situation. Some weak-minded people are influenced by the music because enough music, enough youths take the music liter literal. That is the thing. A lot of youth take the music literal and, you know, mostly know that you have videos that go with these music, so... Them things say when them see these things is 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 a literal thing. They can even go and probably practice these things or do these things. You know what I mean? But it's not a literal thing. Yeah, it's not a literal thing. Yeah, I'm just a fill the gap by showing the youth them say yo, it's not a literal thing. You know, have to be influence in that way. See? Yeah. You don't have to be influenced in that way. So, more of the same manners and respect, peace and love, you know, thanks, um, you know, for everyone who is taking the time out for tuning, manners and respect. Um, if it's the first time they are them there upon the platform, more love, more strength, yeah, man, give thanks to the item, strength and um, support continually. You understand? Yes, I So, yeah, man, um, the music influence, and we have to, we have to know that. See, the music have a strong influence. All right? Nobody go around that. Because if the music didn't have influence, a lot of the youth, them who are say, boy, um, the music not influence, them wouldn't be... Im them wouldn't get inspired by music that the 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 the, the elders them have made. So because the music influence them get inspired by that. Yeah, that is the reality, and a lot of them become artists because them inspired by other artists who influence them. All right. So don't get the thing twisted. The music influences people. All right? Yeah, man. Mindset, manners and respect, you know, peace and love. And we're there upon the rebound. So last year, Ja, Rastafari. Yeah, that's that subscribe button. See you, you on the next, next video. video. I guess that's my mindset. mindset. Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I guess not the mindset.